my toddler goes crazy over anything Pokemon. And because his birthday is coming up, I decided to make him a little outfit. So let me show you and let's talk about it. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews and welcome back. If you've been enjoying these videos, I'd like to just quickly ask you to please hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing because it really does help me let you know when a new video is out there. So as I said earlier, my kid is absolutely insane when it comes to Pokemon. He sleeps with them, he carries them around, he's even got this book. It is the super deluxe essential handbook of Pokemon and he'll go through this for hours and ask you the names of all of them. Quite honestly, like, there's times when he'll just, he'll be at it for so long asking us, what's that, what's this? I start making up names. I mean, there's a Lechuga Pokemon, there's Arroz Pokemon, there is Gandules Pokemon. I mean, there's like rice and beans, lettuce. Like, I start tell, I start, yeah, giving them all kinds of names. He doesn't seem to know yet. He can't read, so I think I'm safe. <laughs> but behind me are some of the dolls that he actually likes to carry around the house with him. And so when he's watching Pokemon, he has to have his book, Pikachu, who's with him right now, uh, Snubble, and Meowth. And for his third birthday, he's getting Gengar, which is this guy right here. <laughs> so because his big gift for his birthday is going to be Gengar, I decided to make him this little Pokemon outfit with Gengar on a, on a t-shirt. And since I've gotten this new Cricut, it's just any excuse to use it, right? So let me show you the outfit that I made for him. First, I'll show you the shirt. Okay, don't judge me because I'm still learning this whole Cricut vinyl thing, but I went and I got this little shirt. It's from AJ Blanks, um, but I put Gengar on the front and I think he came out pretty decently. I'll be honest, I didn't intend for there to be any whites in him, except for maybe his teeth, but I don't mind it so much. And then on the back, I went and put the number three because it's his third birthday. And so there it is. Now, if you look closely, the three is upside down. I forgot to reverse the image because it was a, it's an iron-on. It's a vinyl iron-on. So you're supposed to reverse it so that way when you iron it on, it's right. So I had a backwards three and I didn't know what to do. So I flipped it upside down and put it on backwards and the top part's a little bigger than the bottom part, the highlighting's in weird spaces. He, he's never gonna know. Maybe if he watches his video when he's, I don't know, 10 years from now, but he's not gonna know. <laughs> so that's Gengar. I think that's how it's pronounced. And to go with it, I made him a pair of shorts. So these, these shorts are actually similar to the Ohio State ones that I made for him. And I'll pop a picture up here real quick for you to see. These, um, this fabric, he picked out himself at Joanne Fabrics one day. It was about a year ago, actually. We were walking through Joanne's and he went crazy over this. He just had to have it. So I threw a yard of it right into the shopping cart and it kind of like just stuck around. And he's been wearing it around the house as a cape and stuff. But lately he's been sleeping with it. So I just thought, man, I really need it. I need to make something. So I decided to make these for his birthday. It's um, this pattern here is, this is my call 7379, and it's beauty, it's the shorts right here. And so you can see they have cargo pockets on the side. It does have um, little kind of side slash angle pockets. It has regular pockets for him to put his hands on and it has the cargo pockets. And um, I did not put the little tie on it on this version. So let me just give you a bit of a look. 
looks. So there's the pocket. And then here's the other one. And I know it all kinds of blend. It kind of blends in. I next time I'll really throw in some contrasting fabric, but there's that. And it has a little elastic waistband, a fake fly front. And, they, and it fits him really nicely. So let me show you some pictures of him wearing this outfit. Now, after looking at those pictures, don't judge his haircut. Mama tried, okay? I tried my best. I'm not a hairstylist. <laughs> but um, he loves these pants. Um, I let him wear the, the shorts all day today and he actually went around telling everyone I've got pockets and he had them pull up his cars and stuff. It was really cute. Um, and he was able to identify the Pokemon on the shirt. So extra kudos. <laughs> I take that as validation that I did a good job. You know, because his birthday is right around Father's Day and we're going to be celebrating it on that same weekend. I was thinking about making his dad a matching Pokemon shirt. Maybe I should actually do an evolved Gengar. Evolved? Is Gengar already evolved? Hang on, let me just, let me see. Yeah, so my kid has this Gengar, but Maybe I'll make his dad a t-shirt with the uh, evolved Mega Gengar. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? I don't want one. Not for me. But I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to make one for his grandpa too, who's going to be here for the birthday. Um, and I know they're a bit out of order, but I think oh, Ghastly turns into a Haunter, who turns into Gengar, who turns into Mega Gengar. So I'm thinking... Grandpa can be Haunter since my kids already got Gengar, which is very yeah, Casey. Okay, so I am going to try not to talk too much about Pokemon and what they evolve into moving forward because, well, that's not what this channel's about. <laughs> but if I do mention it, you've been warned. All right, so thank you for joining me here today. If you have fun with me, go ahead and click that thumbs up and consider subscribing. It does really help me out on here. Until next time, bye!